don't get to I love stand up, but I don't get to go out on the road like you guys do right. mm-hmm. on a full fledged tour. I have everything is around Jeffrey. So I have to say no to a lot of right. stuff. I just they mm-hmm. wanted me. They uh, uh, it was a movie doing there and they were like, it's it's with Forrest Whitaker, but it's six weeks in London. I can't do that. Right. I don't have anybody to watch my child for right. six weeks and I can't take him with me. So I have to say no to a great many things because my son is so important to me and he has special needs. So, you know, you know, it's so, so funny. I, I The difference between me and you is I'm selfish. Like great males get to be selfish for yeah. the most part. Mm-hmm. Like I love my son. I love my daughters. I love my wife, but I'm going on the road. Yeah, you can do and, that. And, I, and 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 don't feel bad about it. I don't it's feel hard bad for about us it. female comics. Like I was talking to Coco Brown, who, and, you know, it's very hard for us because we do. We have to pay the bills, right. and we suffer a lot of guilt when we're on the road. When we can't see our child go to, um, you know, graduate, or we can't right. see them do certain things. But we have to. I have to pay the bills, so that's very hard. I go through that. Kim Whitley goes through it all the feel, time. I I don't. This the, the saddest thing in the. Ha- I remember they made me a video. Of me being oh, yeah. for Christmas, yeah, and it had all these moments. It was a beautiful. I was bawling. They, all these moments of me not being there, and I was crying. And my yeah. uh, Ryan goes, "You sad because you weren't there?" No, I'm sad. I'm sad because if I was there, y'all wouldn't be having those moments. I wasn't sad that I wasn't there. But say so that's a man in your the way you think mm-hmm. emotionally. Mothers, we think, think differently. Different. I'm sad because I wasn't there to see you open that gift. I'm sad because I was when you had a nightmare. I wasn't there to hold you. So we we're we're intrinsically different, mm-hmm. you and I, because that you you're like I'm 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 paying for you to have all this, right. and mm-hmm. I'm I'm making it so that you're stable. Right. I'm going through it because I'm not there to hold you, and I'm not there to nurture you. That's what moms are for. Right. And that's me, and that's you, and that's yeah. you know. But I but you know, I think that there's a level of selfishness that, that you have to have. Look look look, six weeks working with Forrest Whitaker, I'd have seen a little. I got back. <laughs> I you're, very, you're selfish, but you're not like, I know no matter what I do in the world, I know you'll get to me. Oh, yeah. No matter oh, what, yeah. I'm like, hey, I can walk this life because I know my, unless if my father doesn't get to me, I know he's dead. Yep. Literally. Yep. But you feel differently about your mother. Oh, yeah. My like, mo- your mo- like, like your mother, you know to, your mother. Yeah, right. running no matter to my what, mother's arms is like, com- it's just her like, arms are always it's there. Com- it's, it's and that's heavy. what my guilt is, that when he goes, where's my mommy? Which is why I've been off sugar for a year. Because when my son said to me, Mommy, if you die, who's going to be my bodyguard? Wow. Ooh. That's what made me oh, no. get off sugar right there. It wasn't, you know. So when I think about Forrest Whitaker, yes, I go, well, maybe that opportunity will come back around again. But for right now, my assignment is I'm a mother and it's my son.